All right, hello everyone. We're going to uh, get our demo started. Uh, my name is Adam Thibodeau. I'm from McFadden Digital. I'm uh, responsible for sales at, at McFadden and uh, just very happy to be here with some of my friends from Miracle and Commerce Tools. Um, this is uh, Zippy and, and Chris. Um, just to, We're going to be talking tonight, today about uh, the uh, connector that we built between uh, between uh, Commerce Tools and uh, Miracle, and we're, we're going to just kind of show how the connector works, but we're also going to talk about the overall vision of what we're building, uh, you know, for, as a partnership between the three of us. Uh, we're actually going to be building a large-scale accelerator, and this is kind of the first step in the, in the overall process. We're going to introduce it today. Um, I'm going to start off uh, by showing you guys a, a little bit of background information that we're going to go through. And I'm going to put this uh, in presentation mode. Okay, we're going to uh, you know, basically introduce uh, McFadden super quick. Most of you guys are probably already familiar with Miracle and Commerce Tools, uh, but we're one of their uh, partners. Uh, we uh, we are the trusted partner in the in your marketplace journey. If any of you guys are out there looking to uh, do marketplace, especially on uh, Commerce Tools, and are considering uh, Miracle, we're this is a this is a great place for you to be. Uh, we we start with you from this from all the way from strategy all the way through operations, um, and we. We're, basically one hand to hold uh, your, through your entire process, uh, along with uh, especially Zippy, who is uh, head of uh, uh, customer success at Miracle. She, she'd be there to, to help you out as well. McFadden's been around for uh, over 35 years. We've done uh, uh, e-commerce for 25 and marketplaces for 15. Um, we do e-commerce strategy, technology, and marketing. Uh, but what we're really well known for is for our thought leadership, our book that, that has come out as far as uh, marketplace best practices, uh, the maturity model, as well as our sweet spot report. Um, here's a kind of a listing of, of a lot of the marketplaces uh, that we have built over over the over uh, the decades that we've been in business. Uh, some of these are just uh, actually just strategy or in the strategy phase and moving into implementation, but uh, lots of great uh, companies that we've worked with in the past. And then um, very specifically Minted, which is, um, it's more like a, it's like an Etsy for art um, in doing print. Uh, they have, uh, they're using our, this connector that I'm gonna be talking about. And then JP Morgan Chase, specifically uh, CXL, CX Loyalty is, is uh, also using this connector. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about it. Here's the vision. It's Commerce Tools, the connector that we built, and then Miracle, and then this is the POC uh, demo that we're doing today. Next step, we're gonna be adding the Commerce Tools front end onto the front, uh, front of this. We're gonna be doing a redesign and then uh, making it more of a robust uh, marketplace accelerator. And then our final step, phase three, We'll be adding in more of your peripherals and third parties so that this is a full stack, ready to go marketplace with commerce tools in the center, market, uh, Miracle uh, powering all of the marketplace capabilities, and then uh, then some of our partners uh, with the Mock Alliance powering either search or uh, doing content management, um, and then uh, tax and, and payment is in there as well. So. This is kind of like the, the overall view of, of kind of how all that would fit together. But very specifically, I'm gonna throw this up on the screen. Um, I don't see a lot of people asking me any technical questions, but we have all of the very uh, very detailed technical uh, items behind this to talk about. We can kind of get into the, the nitty gritty. This is production uh, ready. It's actually in production today and uh, for two of our customers, like I mentioned uh, earlier. So we have uh, we can talk about this. We can get into the details and uh, and so forth and so on. Uh, any questions about McFadden or kind of the concept of what we've built before I actually go into the demo? No. Okay. All right. So I'm going to switch over into uh, the demos real quick. All right, so this is uh, our, our fake website, McFadden's Fashions. Um, you know, if you can see uh, Tom McFadden over here, you can tell he's a very fashionable guy. So uh, he's, he's, uh, this is uh, his store. And, um, and then the idea here is, uh, this, is a, this is an apparel shop. And just as a, from, a, from a quick and simple standpoint, 
in your apparel shop, you might be selling jeans. This, these might be your products. And then when you go to uh, this PDP for jeans, you'll see you're the seller of these jeans. And we, we leave, um, one of the things that we would normally uh, not include in, uh, in something that was just your product is an offer box, but we have it here just to demonstrate the fact that there are no other offers available for this demo. Um, but let's say you wanted to, let's say your use case is that you wanted to add accessories to your apparel shop. Uh, and we go up here to accessories and, and look, take a look at these watches. We'll click on this citizen watch here and you can see that uh, this, this PDP is no longer what it what it looked like when it was our product. Now there's a, it, it's actually much different and there, the offer box or the buy box is another industry term for this is has uh, three different sellers in it all selling the same watch. So so the idea here is is that you can mix your 1P products uh, and have your PDPs that do 1P products and then also have your seller products as well. Um, I'm going to actually now go through a you know through a process. We'll uh, we'll select. Uh, we'll go back to the jeans. We'll throw some jeans into uh, a cart, All right? And then we'll go to the watch again, and we'll add a watch from one of these sellers. Um, let's say you're you're lured by the one cent uh, one cent difference here and uh, you decide to buy from uh, Adonsis, and then we'll view the cart. Okay, and now this is, this is really important. So a lot of what I'm pointing out to you um, are things that we would have to do on a regular e-commerce platform in order to differentiate the fact that there are multiple sellers in the cart. This actually takes a lot of complexity from um, on the e-commerce side. Now, Miracle provides all of the data that we need in order to pull this into commerce tools and then differentiate things within the cart as well as in uh, as in the 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 the, old, the overall um, shopping process, your PDPs and your checkout process. And so, what you can see here is you have McFadden's fashions. This is the this is the jeans that we selected earlier. Here is the watch that we picked up. This is being sold by Adonis. Adonis. Um, and, and now we can continue and make our purchase. So it's going to, now we're going to go through the checkout process. Um, this is asking me about my shipping address, which I have pre-entered. I'm going to go to the next stop. Let's see, did I click on that already? Make sure my internet access is still here. Let me just give it a little pop here. It's loading slow. It's running off of my phone. So, here we go. There we go. Now it's working. All right. So just a little uh, lack of internet access there, and got that rolling now. Okay, so it's just asking me the shipping methods. This is very important. You can see that Adonis, uh, Adon Adonis um, allows you to choose certain delivery methods that they are providing, and then you, as McFadden's Fashions, is offering three different methods. So we can change uh, our shipping methods, and you can see we get one price for express shipping, and then for one day uh, shipping, we get a different price. So we've selected our, our shipping charges, and now we're going to move on to the next phase, which I think is just uh, confirming my billing address. Now I'm going to move on to payment, and then um, on the payment side, We'll enter this piece. On. It's not, it's not, has, there it goes, it's just finished loading. All right, we'll enter a fake card number. And continue pay. No thanks. Continue. Here we go. By the way, if 
if anybody has any questions as I'm going through this, please please jump in and ask. So Adam's with a, you have a set of connector that's connecting. Yes. There it goes. Is there, is the, the front end also a uh, package you sell as well too, or is that just for the demonstration you have here? So it is, so the, the front end right right now is just based on, basically just uh, view.js, okay. right? So we wrote this like from scratch just to, to create a demo. Um, our next phase is going to be take uh, is doing uh, commerce tools store uh, front end. So they have a new front end. We're going to be leveraging that and putting that as a part of the accelerator as the next step. Gotcha. All right. Okay. And so we're going to confirm the order. And before we do that, we can see we've got kind of the same thing that you saw in the shopping cart and the in the shopping process. Now it includes, uh, it tells us what our shipping is. And so we're gonna confirm the order. And then it's giving, you know, it's giving us a, a, an order number, telling it's complete. And now we can go and, and validate uh, what has happened um, in the, um, in the Commerce Tools business. So what's happened now is Commerce Tools has received the, the order, which has a mixed cart. And one of the key things is, is that your, the Commerce Tools side of this is part of your business. You're the operator. So what is, you want to capture the entire order. And because you want, if, if that particular seller uh, or if that particular buyer comes back to you and they want, hey, I have a question about this purchase that I made, you want to be able to see the entire transaction. So Commerce Tools holds the entire transaction within it. And then, but what we're going to see later is that Miracle will only hold what is a uh, marketplace. So it, it actually will split it out. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate here. We're going to look at um, the order list within within Commerce Tools, and as soon as this comes up, I'll click on it. This is our order. It was about 560. That seems about right. And then we can go down here, and then you can see we have the jeans, and then we have the Citizen Eco Watch. So again, this is about seeing the entire the entire transaction in uh, in Commerce Tools from a from an order management standpoint. Now, when we go over to um, we go over to Miracle, this is the Miracle interface. Now we have our logo here, um, but this is the Miracle interface, and we're going to click on orders and all orders, and then this should be right at the top. As you can see, it's a Don Donis, and we're going to click on here and. Going to be able to confirm that it is just the watch that is in this particular transaction. So this would be at this point when this gets through loading. One of the key things that we're going to be able to see, we're going to be able to see an operator's view of that transaction and and what they specifically have and what will need to be accepted by the seller. So at this point, what what you're doing is you're brokering the a your relationship with the with the seller the seller has to come in and say yep i accept this order they have to come in and and uh, say yep i have this in stock we're going to fulfill and then what you can see in 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 this screen is uh, the watch itself and then you can even see the commission that you may have earned on um, on that particular transaction so um, there was one thing that I skipped over um, and I wanted to show you um, is here within within um, within commerce tools or the marketplace item the way that one of the key things that it has to understand is what the marketplace item is or it is a marketplace item so you have a marketplace offer ID and seller ID and this helps commerce tools know that it doesn't pass along anything to uh, to uh, from an order management standpoint so this is the, the split this is how it works and then um, but we have this as I said we have this connector in in production and uh, we're we've got it in a number of great places all right um, any questions or actually before I ask for questions Zippy or or Chris do you guys want to add anything uh, make any points um, regarding the the demo Maybe if you want to share something around the integration timelines and how that yeah, works. Yes, absolutely. So 
If you're interested in doing something like this, one of the key things that we would need to do is is we'd have to implement commerce tools and we'd have to implement Miracle. Now, Miracle um, doesn't truly take implementation uh, from the standpoint of uh, that it is a, it, it's more about configuration. So we actually have to do the design and development and uh, a, a lot of work to, to create your experience within commerce tools. But with our connector, uh, we can avoid a lot of the integration costs. We do. We have all of the pre-built uh, plugins ready to go. Uh, that connects in, and then and then Miracle is ready for configuration. Then we go through a process of configuring uh, Miracle so that it is it is ready to go, and then we have a team of people that that help you do that. So, Tom, the question was for me is. Can you talk about the applicability of this for both B2C and B2B? Is there an either or, or is it for both? It is for both. Um, so we built it. Um, so it is, uh, it is already in a B2C and a B2B uh, environment. So for Minted, it is in a B2C environment in production, and then uh, for a CX Loyalty, that is actually a B2B solution, and it's actually a B2B2C solution uh, for uh, CX Loyalty, which is a loyalty uh, program, and they use the loyalty points for their marketplace. So, um, and then as far as long term, it is definitely uh, everything that we're going to be building out in the accelerator is going to be both B B and B to C uh, capable and reversible. Anybody have some questions, you guys? No, you've been very attentive, so thank you. Uh, you've been nodding your heads. I've been feeling really good, so thank you. How about you guys? Any questions? No. All right. All right. Anybody? All right. Well, uh, thanks everybody for your time and uh, your attention, and thanks for coming by uh, the, the booth and the, and the demo. Thank you. All right. Thank you.